Hello, it's me, and it's time for another super, um, what? You forgot. Oh, I'm sorry. It's me and... Noah. Noah. And it's time for another emergency tutorial. Uh, every so often I, I, I do that, someone comes uh, to me with a question and that question is something of, of the utmost importance. They're being tortured by a puzzle and they just can't seem to to, to get it right. So um, someone came to me with uh, with this particular one. This is an apple puzzle. Apple cube? I guess at this point we shouldn't call them cubes. Uh, so you know this is a fun one. It's a 3x3 three three mod and I've gone through 3x3 three three mods before so the technique is pretty much the same. Anytime you have a 3x3 three three mod you wonder if there's certain pieces that can be equivalent to each other. Now I will maintain that with 3 by 3s you don't get actual parity situations because whatever you scramble it into you can solve it and there's no process of, of reduction. But if you notice these are pretty much equivalent to each other and you can tell because I can move it here and not change the conformation here or here. Same thing on the bottom here or here. So there may be a, a something of a simplicity to this, but what I'm going to do is scramble the apple and uh, see if I can solve it. Whoa. And put this here and here and here and we'll do more in a second. Abracadabra. Alright, so when approaching this puzzle over here, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by getting our cross. We'll start off with, say, the top layer over here. Now the good news is, is all of these edges are going to look exactly the same. So I got so many to choose from. Might as well do this. You can see this one has a little bit of a tapering to it. So if I look for any type of a edge, perhaps this over here, this has a tapered look to it at the bottom here. So I don't think it goes over here. And we'll just turn it in here and you can see it lines up here quite nicely. So I'm going to find others that'll, that'll do that. Now before I move on actually, because I can find others quite easily, like you can see this over here, this comes out over here, this sinks in and is kind of tapered at the bottom. I can put this here and it doesn't matter, I can put it next to here. So putting this in is not a problem. Uh, so we might also do that, here's another one here. I'm going to put this one over here, so put it to the bottom, turn it, bring it up. This is super cube strategy where the orientation of the corner has a, has a meaning. Put this over here, so we're good, good. And the last one, just find another um, edge that looks the same right over here. You can see that this sort of sinks in over here, and then put this up over here. So we can't really call this a cross yet because this doesn't have colors to help guide us. But what we need to do is we need to make sure that these centers are oriented correctly. Um, now, because it's a super cube, it's not the color being different that tells us the orientation is wrong, it's the shape. So you can see that this doesn't line up with this. This is an example of one that happened to be rotated correctly. So in order to rotate things correctly, what I'm going to want to do is move this out so that I can rotate this here. And because this is coming up on us, you know, this is jutting out, it's probably going to line up with this. So it, the way to do that, and you could have done it as soon as you put it in, or you can put these in first, it really doesn't matter. Go ahead and um, turn it down to the bottom, then turn this to the side, and I'll keep turning this to where you think it's going to line up with this edge over here. So if I turn it here and move it in, you can see it doesn't line up, so bring it out of the way, turn it back down, bring it over here, and you can see this lines up perfect, so now bring it back up again. So this is a way of kind of recalibrating it so that you can get it where it needs to be. Let's practice again with this over here. So to make sure that this is coinciding with the proper orientation of this center over here, double turn it down here, move it out of the way, and then just rotate this down and bring this back until it seems to line up, doesn't quite line up here. Bring this across here, so it's kind of a trial and error process. This is okay over here, and turn it over there. And bang. So this is okay here. Same thing over here. Double turn it over here, bump it out of the way, and now let's roll this around until it matches up with this piece here. No need to talk about any algorithms because uh, uh, because it's really it's really easy to see and to visualize just positionally. So that's good here, here, here. So we have a cross. Now in terms of what goes into here, we're just going to have to find out which um, wedges, which corners of this apple can actually fit here. So you can see that this kind of comes out, so this triangle doesn't really fit. So right over here, this one comes out at you pretty well. So this is going to roll into here. And uh, that's going to be a, a combination of R I D I R D, so R I D I R D, and I keep doing that until I get this in in a way that matches with both of these. Same thing with this corner. 
We're gonna see if we can't find a triangle. Now it might actually be this one. It's, it's hard to say for sure. So again, you're gonna to have to do trial and error, but let's take a look at this and let's just keep rotating this around. Keep doing R-I-D-I-R-D -I -I -R -D until it rotates. R-I-D-I-R-D. -I -I now I can stop there because look, this is already in. Now I guarantee when solving this puzzle, you're gonna get situations like that because a lot of corners can fit here. So let's try with this. Let's keep rotating this one around. R-I-D-I-R-D. R-I-D-I-R-D. So this was the, the proper one. It just had to be rotated. This one is pretty obviously not the right one. So this one has to come out. Let's find another one that looks more like these guys. And that's gonna be this, because you can see that these edges overhang, they jut out to match up with these. So put it right under where it's supposed to be. R-I-D-I-R. D. Now we just have to keep rotating it. R I D I R D R I D I R D. And you have yourself the top of the apple. So now we have to do the middle layer. Turn this upside down and you can see that this is already in. Now again, this is going to be kind of a trial and error process. You can see that you've given, we've been given this gift of an edge that's already in. So we can take a look and see what else is supposed to be there. How about this? Does this roll into here? The way to tell, I know that all of these centers are rotated correct. So these have to match up eventually with some of these guys. So if I turn this here, you can see this doesn't match up. So I abandon that. And what I can do is maybe try this one over here, this one down to here. So just move this down just to see if it lines up and you can see that it does. All that tells me is that now I can do the algorithm to place this edge to here. And that's gonna be a typical three by three swap. You can use the methodology of your choice, the one that I like, the beginner's method, to get here to the top to the right. It's gonna be U, R, U, I, R, I, U, I, F, I, U, F. And that'll put that in. So same thing. Now most of these are gonna be of this kind of an edge that sort of is jutting out at you a little bit, that matches up with these, because all of these uh, um, centers here are going to have edges that jut out at you. So we move this over here to see if it fits, and it does. So now we do the same algorithm, but on the left-hand side. And that's going to be U-I-L-I-U-L-U-F-U-I-F-I. And that's bringing it in here. So this one is probably going to go here. Match it down to see if it does. Nope, doesn't fit in on this side. So I move it over by one to see if it matches down to here and it does. So this belongs here, but we have to put it in in the right orientation. If I were to hold it here and move it from here to here, it wouldn't work. And you can tell by just testing it, moving it over here. So now by moving it here and seeing that it does line up in this orientation, I know that I have to go from here down to here. So UI, rather U R, U I R I U, F I, U I, F, and we're there. So now we should have this entire um, middle layer. Now for the top layer. Well, for the top layer, this is, um, because this is a super cube, it's gonna have issues with, um, uh, with, with potential uh, placement. But the concept is really the same. The concept is first we orient the edges. By orienting the edges, they all have to be flipped uh, right side up. This, in this particular puzzle, that's gonna be easy to see because if it's right side up, it matches, with, um, it matches with the center. Now this puzzle is easy to see, but I'm gonna show you another puzzle, which is sort of an egg variant. This is an apple variant. There's an egg transformation of a three by three where it's not gonna be so easy because every one of these edges belongs, can go to any one of these places. This can go here, this can go here. So I don't have to worry about if it's upside, right side up or not. Well, I do, but I don't have to have that as a big issue because you can tell. This is right side up, this is right side up. This, because you have an overhanging edge here, is obviously upside down, and this is upside down. So with these two, we have that L formation that you get when we're solving um, the three by three. So with your L formation, if you have it like this, you have one to the left, one to the back, and do the algorithm F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. We'll go from L to line. So here's our line, and we do it again. F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I, and everything is in. So basically, we don't have to do the next step, which is trying to orient these, uh, or rather permute these. They're all oriented, but I don't care if this is here, or this is here, or this is here. And that's the simple part of this puzzle. Once you get them all right set up, you're pretty much done. And uh, what's more, most of these 
are all equivalent to each other as well. So I don't have to, I don't really care if this belongs here, here, or here. They all belong exactly where they belong. So because of that, because these, there's equivalency of these pieces anywhere, just by orienting them, you're done. These don't have to be oriented. Uh, rather, they don't have to be uh, permuted, they just have to be oriented. So you can see this is all in. In order to put these in, we need three that are in. I just have to rotate these around. So I'm going to do the same thing as the last step of a three by three. We go R I D I R D R I D I R D. This is in, and then we do a U I to put the next one in. Same thing. R I D I R D R I D I R D. This is in. Now we're going to put this one in, and we keep rotating it around. And by the magic of the law of the cubes. This will be oriented in and these will all be fixed. R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I-R. We don't even have to do a D because it's done. So your apple is done. So the thing about this puzzle that's um, a little different than the others and in some ways makes the solve a little simpler is the fact that you have complete equivalency of all of these uh, edges and you have complete equivalency of all of these corners. And same thing up here. So once you get these rotated correct, you're done. You don't have to flip these around like you do with some other mods. What I'm going to show next is a mod that looks a lot like this, but you do have to worry about those things. So uh, hope that helped. Again, this was a emergency request summons. So there you have it. There you go. Thanks for watching.